Crooks. Today is a shopping day. I'm here in, uh, in Denpasar in Sanur area and buying old equipment now. And I'm just thinking that how actually is expensive to be an instructor. I haven't been changing wetsuit for more than two years. My, my wetsuit is completely done. You already saw that I'm diving in a free diving wetsuit just simply because my five mils, the long one, is done. All right, so I came here to buy a new wetsuit and it's gonna cost me, the cheap one, it's gonna cost me two and a half million rupiah, which is $200. All right, but that's a cheap one. Uh, I just bought analyzer, which cost me five million. Five million, it means it's the same as, for example, to teach one technical course, almost. That's the thing is like you want to look like a beggar or you want to look like a really like a like an instructor who has the latest updated equipment that's the thing and that's why all the instructors start looking like a beggar just because they start saving money because they earning money especially nowadays when there is all this crisis it's not that easy to uh, get this money for the new equipment so we wearing again and again and again all the equipment and uh, and then people still think that the diving is ex expensive i think it is expensive just simply because of the equipment rental equipment expensive instructors equipment expensive and then we need more than one set i have sign mount i have technical i have operational i need to many computers so basically basically what i'm trying to say is if you're planning to do i don't know diving only a couple of times a year when you have a holidays don't buy all this equipment just find the place where you can rent all the good equipment and just simply do that otherwise it will become really expensive hobby for you if i would be a diver like you who's diving twice a year i would like I would buy only wetsuit, booties, fins, mask, that's it, nothing else. Regulate BCD of the rent from the dive center. When you're buying uh, 5 mils wetsuits, usually the zip is in the front. And it's a kind of pain in ass to get it on and get it off on it's easy easier but when you need to take it off without help then you are in a trouble i just tried one on i thought if i will buy it so then most likely laura will see me coming home with all the that you've done because i cannot take it without a help so this is what i'm talking it's actually pretty like a kind of the one other option, option why I, I don't know why people do that. Uh, the most likely five mils you you wearing in a cold water, and if you want to pee, then of course it's a it's an option. So you can just simply open, and then with a back zip you cannot do that. But with a front zip, yes. But you know, that's a it's definitely a pain in the ass to get it on and off. And as the shopping for the dive center done, bought some couple of masks, new masks, and the wetsuit for myself. Got a cheap one, but we'll buy a better one when, the, when there will be a better times.
and uh, we can share how it really is. Let's say it's one airplane. There are around 200 people in it. Then they bring you to the waiting area or actually immigration area. Everybody's staying together in one group and then they're calling one by one to the immigration. I think in the line is more safe because then you can keep the distance. Well, now the people staying in one big group and then they're calling one by one. Everyone getting like a kind of assistant or the person who's following all the time with you. All right, then they bring you to the hotel on a second day they asking you to do the PCR test if all, all is going good with that so then you can leave the hotel. The hotel, if you check it in a booking, it costs only 300,000 rupees, which is kind of really okay price because it's specially somehow equipped for, for this quarantine needs and because the food is included, so then you have to pay 1 million per every night. You actually arriving in Jakarta, it's not Bali even. Bali still, they, there are no any international flights coming to Bali still. And actually what we heard, then there is one, uh, like a prognosis that it will happen only starting January 1st. And so then they, they will, someone applied that they will do international flights to Bali directly. At the moment still all the flights go through the Jakarta. It's November, it's a time to extend your instructor statuses and dive center statuses. I understand that most of instructors will not extend their membership and I can understand because you know last year someone been teaching only a couple of students and to pay uh, again like 350 US dollars for extension they can when they cannot get this money back is a kind of wasting of money someone do a little bit Differently, someone is changing diving schools because in other diving school there's cheaper renewals. And I think we lost a lot of people from our industry in this almost two years. And we will lose more because people don't see any opportunity to earn money from it. And if you cannot earn money from it, especially if you have family and you cannot just live for fun and enjoying life, then of course you start thinking what to do else just to survive. Hello, hello. Today no diving, no discussions about technical diving. So today vinegar, water, uh, dishwashing liquid and equipment to clean. So I'm actually going to service all our regulators in the dive center and probably someone will help me. Laura is going out for the diving with Adriana just for some macro dives. Uh, Vesic conditions are beautiful as always in the morning. At the moment it's 9 o'clock in the morning. The uh, air temperature is about 32 degrees in the sun especially. Um, water temperature 29-30 degrees. Laura tried out 5 mils uh, wetsuit yesterday and she said ah, it was too hot. When are we going to Chandidasa? Yes, but here it's a little bit too hot. I've been diving in 5 mils all the time, but you know, 5 mils in the beginning and 5 mils after 2-3 years of wearing it, it's absolutely different story.
to remember how to put it all together. The really important part is to disassemble it, but assembling is also really important. This episode is going to be dedicated to the equipment. Today we did service for seven regulators. Thank you very much who participated and uh, helped me to do that. Uh, I think Leo learned the new skills, um, the new thing. He was like a kind of really excited today. When I, we opened at the first regulator, he said my heart started beating faster. Right? <laughs> so yeah, um, what I usually do, I am actually servicing regulators twice a year. Um, I have we, these regulators which we serviced, we haven't been serviced since we bought them. We bought them in the end of 2019, there was all these lockdowns and everything, and there was no point to service them. So that's why we did it first time in two years. <laughs> Someone is uh, going to pray now. And uh, so that's why we did it only now, but usually if it's a busy dive center, if it's a busy season, we do it twice. The first time we're just cleaning, and the second time we're changing all the o-rings, all the inside parts. The one of the most important thing for any dive center is to provide you with a good air. And um, so we just came here to check out what, how the compressor room looks like. So that's what we usually, what I'm personally doing always, before I'm start working with anyone, to checking out how the compressor is working, how clean it is, how's the ventilation, how's the, where's the intake of the air. Like for example, I don't like when some compressor rooms are next to the big roads, there's a lot of pollution. So that's why we came here. Just to check out, there are four compressors. There's one compressor, there's another one. This is a nitrox system. Um, so they're blending only up to 36%. Uh, percent. If I need something from for the technical needs, like 50% nitrox or 100% that I cannot get it from here, but there are other places where I can get it. And we've been already tested, testing out air. Air doesn't have any smells or whatever. Easy to breathe, my bronchs are not burning. Fine. Makasi. Yeah. <laughs> Today, as usually during the rain season, there was a rain. Now it's over. It's around six o'clock in the evening. Thank you very much for watching, follow, subscribe, smash that thumbs up button and see you on the next video again. Bye.